Hey guys, it's Shelby from Big Cat Creative and in today's video, we are going to be talking about our favorite ways to display your images in Squarespace. It is no secret that most people scan your website quickly with their eyes before making any kind of commitment to jump in further with your content. So this means that it's important to grab their attention visually in order to keep them around. Photography is something that plays a huge part in that. However, the plain old boring square images aren't exactly the most appealing. Thankfully, Squarespace makes it insanely easy to create really innovative and exciting designs and layouts with your photos that doesn't require a ton of extra work. So let's jump into our six favorite ways to display your images on Squarespace that are going to visually stun your visitors. First up is overlapping images. One of our most favorite things about Squarespace 7.1's Fluid Engine Editor is the flexibility that it offers when moving around and positioning individual blocks. This feature allows you to do a lot of really cool things that otherwise would have only been achievable using custom code, which let's be honest, nobody has time for. And one of those things is overlapping your image blocks. This is a really fun way to create dynamics on the page and to give your website a really custom and professional edge. Plus, it's actually really simple to achieve. So to create this design, first enter into editing mode by clicking on edit in the top left-hand corner of your screen. And then you can either navigate to an existing section on the page or add a brand new section by clicking on the blue add section button. You can then add all of your images to your section by clicking on the add block button up here in the top left and then choosing the image block. You can then click on the pencil edit icon here and then choose add an image and either upload a file, select from library or browse some free stock images. Once you've added all of your images, all you need to do is click and drag to move them anywhere you want within the section. You can use the anchor points on the image block to resize your image to be whatever size and dimensions you'd like and then just start playing around with things until you've achieved the desired look that you're going for. And as you're rearranging and overlapping, you can always click on an image block and use these move forward and move backward icons to move one image in front of or behind another. So if I wanted this image right here to come in front of this image, I would click onto this image block and then choose the move forward icon, and that would bring it in front of that other image. The best part about this display is that there really are no rules. You can get as creative as you want, use as little or as many photos as you want to make it either more collage or more simple. Just have fun with it and see what you come up with. Next up, we have text overlays. This is a cool way to display your images, especially if you're a product or a service-based business. And basically, a text overlay is just adding text on top of an image. This works really well when you're displaying photos for a particular product collection or maybe service packages, and it can also be really impactful when you use it as an intro banner. It's a really simple adjustment, but the text does spice up an otherwise quote-unquote basic photo, and you can also include things like buttons and links, which allows for more call-to-action opportunity, meaning that this display is both really cute and practical. So to achieve this style, you'll first want to add both your image and your text to your section. You can do this by clicking the add block button and choosing the image block, as well as choosing the text block. Once you have both your text and your image, you can go ahead and click and drag your text to go directly on top of your image or anywhere else within the section that you want it to go. So if you wanted your text to be a little bit off center from your image, you can do that, or you can just put it directly in the center. At this point, you can then also adjust any of your text settings to fit the design that you're going for. So you can change the color, or make it bold, whatever you think is gonna make it more readable. You'll then wanna double click on your image block and head into the design tab. And here we're going to take a look at image effect and overlay. Under image effect, you can choose from a few different effects that are going to alter the way your photo looks. You can liquefy your image, which is kinda cool. You can add a parallax, you can add a film grain. You can just go through these and see if any of them pique your fancy. Overlay, on the other hand, is going to add a block of color on top of your image that you can then change the color of and make more or less transparent. So once that option is turned on, you can then click on the color circle here 
and choose a color from your color palette or click on custom and choose a color from the color picker here. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose a color from the existing palette. And then you can use this bar here to make that color more or less transparent. And adding an overlay to the photo can be really helpful in making your text easier to read depending on how busy the photo is. If instead you wanted to add a background image to your section in order to create that intro banner look, you'll click on edit section over here in the top right of the section and then click into the background tab. And from here, you can go ahead and add an image. From there, the options are pretty similar to the regular text block that we just went through. You'll be able to add an image effect if you like. And at the very bottom, you can adjust the overlay opacity over your image. Once you have achieved the look that you want here, you can go ahead and click out and then add your text block by clicking on add block, choosing a text block, and then positioning that wherever you'd like and adding your intro banner heading. And now you have two different, really pretty looking text overlay options. Number three on the list is card style layouts. This display style combines images with multiple other elements to create a card style design, perfect for highlighting things like services, courses, newsletter signups, and so much more. This style is really versatile because it's all about creating from scratch what you're most needing. So you're taking features like shapes and text and buttons to piece together a unique composition that highlights your image. This means that the potential variations that you can create are countless, which allows your website to always feel really fresh and unique. So to achieve this design, you're gonna wanna start by adding a shape to your section, which you can do by clicking on the add block button and then choosing the shape block right here. You can then move that wherever you want on your page, resize it, and then double click into the block to access its settings. Here you can change the actual shape itself. You can adjust the border radius, change the color, add a stroke to your shape, and there's a couple of additional settings as well that you can play around with. Once you're happy with the settings of your shape and have it Looking how you want it to look within your section, you can start adding to your card by adding additional blocks and positioning them wherever you'd like within the shape. You'll most likely want to start with adding your image block since that's of course the star of the show. And all you need to do is drag it directly over the shape and then adjust it to fit whatever composition you're going for. Additionally, you can add some text blocks as well as some button blocks and really any other block type that your heart desires. Think of these card layouts as mini graphics within your website. You can use your different font styles and colors to complement the image that you're showcasing and make the display as dynamic and enticing as possible. Next, let's take a look at image shapes, which is another one of our favorite features of the newer Squarespace 7.1 Fluid Engine Editor. This feature allows you to change the shape of any uploaded image with literally just the click of a mouse. You can choose from circular shapes to more angular shapes. They even offer some really cool abstract shapes. And this is just a fun way to maintain visual interest as visitors are scrolling through your website. Giving your images unique shapes like this feels really custom and it can breathe new life into an otherwise plain photo. So to convert your images into shapes, add an image to your section by clicking on add block and then choosing the image block and then double click on your image block to access its settings and click into the design tab. From here, click on the shape tab and then click right here where it says shape. You can then browse through all of the different shape options that Squarespace offers in order to find one that fits the vibe that you're going for. And the other cool thing about image shapes is that you can get as creative as you want with it by combining it with other layout styles, overlapping it with other shapes or other square images, and just mix and matching until you have something really unique. All right, next up is another newer Squarespace feature, which is pinned blocks. And technically you can pin any block type while you're using the Fluid Engine Editor, but our favorite way to use this tool is to pin image blocks. And pinning an image block is going to make sure that it remains fixed in place among any other content within the same section. So as I scroll down the page, that image is gonna stay right there at the top of the section. This helps to make sure that the image remains relevant on the page 
and that no visitor is going to miss out on an opportunity to be dazzled by your beautiful photos. To pin an image, make sure that it is positioned where you want it within the section and click on the image block and choose the little thumbtack pin icon up here at the top. You can then choose to pin the image to the top, middle, or bottom of the section and play around with the offset amount as well, which is just going to adjust the margin above and below the image. And once you've chosen your desired pin settings, your image will then be pinned to wherever you've pinned it. We also have a full walkthrough tutorial specifically all about pinning blocks, so you should definitely check that out if you want to master this style. It will be linked in the description below. And last, but most definitely not least, we have to give a special mention to gallery sections because they're just one of those Squarespace features that you can never go wrong using. Gallery sections are perfect for portfolios or anywhere else on your site where you really want your photos to be the focal point because these sections are dedicated solely to displaying photos. You can choose from a bunch of different pre-designed layouts like a masonry grid, which is what you see here, or a slideshow. And all you need to do is insert your photos and tweak the display settings a bit to create full width displays that will really wow your visitors. To add a gallery section to a page, enter editing mode by clicking on edit in the top left and then click on the blue add section button. In the add a section pop-up window, scroll down towards the bottom and click on the images tab. And then the first seven layout options under this images tab are going to be your gallery sections. And you'll know that they're the gallery sections because they have this little circled eye icon in the top right hand corner, which just lets you know that you can conveniently switch between the pre-designed gallery section layouts. So you can go ahead and choose whichever one of these sections you want to start with, but you'll really easily be able to switch between them even after you've chosen one. Once you've chosen your gallery section, you can add your unique images by clicking on the edit gallery button in the top right hand corner of the section. And then you can go ahead and just delete all of the preset filler images and add your own images by clicking on the plus sign. And then you can either search images or upload from your computer. Within this same window, you can then choose an image and edit it if you need to do that. You can also add a description for your image as well as a link if you want to make the images clickable. You can also rearrange the order of your images within this window by simply clicking and dragging them. To adjust the settings of your gallery or to switch between the other gallery section layouts, you can click on edit section. And then within the gallery tab here, you can adjust the settings for whichever gallery type you currently have chosen, or you can click on the drop down menu here to switch back and forth between the other gallery section types. There's a simple grid, a strip grid, as well as a simple slideshow option, a full width slideshow option, and a real style slideshow. And once you're happy with your gallery section, just go ahead and click out and save. And there you have it. Those are our six favorite ways to display images in Squarespace 7.1. All of these display styles not only look great, but they're extremely functional, which means that you won't be sacrificing sales for aesthetics. Hopefully you can find something in this list that sparks your interest. And of course, with the help of Squarespace, feel really confident now to step outside of your image comfort zone. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you're looking for some more videos similar to this, be sure to subscribe to our channel and follow along. We post new videos every single week and I hope to see you in the next one.